What's going on, Game Dad fam? I'm Josh, the Game Dad, and this is more Pokemon Trading Card Game. I ain't gonna prepare my deck. I'm prepared to take on Amanda, because when we last left off, I beat and fight one- YES! Okay, that was the best possible thing I could have run into, because half my deck is good against her. Um, I beat in the first match of the Challenge Cup. Now I'm on to match two with my Thunder Punch deck. Okay, I got Pikachu. Pikachu needs two lightning to work, so I'm gonna throw out Kangaskhan up front. And I'm gonna let him fetch. And that's gonna be how I open things up. Actually, I'll give him double colorless, I'll give him a fighting, and I'll let him keep fetching, and I'll let him comet punch through things. Ah, Inker! Kangaskhan, kill! Aw, oh, it's a cute little polywag. Kill! How the. Listen. Scyther is not a water type. Scyther is not anything in the realm of being a water type. I don't even think Scyther likes water. So, y'all need to get that under control. Fetch! Stop. So, I had myself a good laugh in between recording sessions. Because, uh, my wife told me about something, but I, uh, you know, I had to, I had to take a look. Uh, so, some of you may remember in the 90s, there was a relatively famous teen heartthrob actor named Devin Sawa. And, uh, Devin Sawa did a number of things. He I'm not a fan of this double scyther action situation. Not a fan. Uh... Fighting energy on Kangaskhan. Yeah, I'm gonna fetch some more. Let me get another fighting energy. That would honestly be. So now, if I oak, I'm oaking away an oak to get an oak. Oh. Either way, so, Devin Sawa, he was a person, um, he was in a couple things, uh, he was, for instance, uh, if you ever saw the movie Casper, the, the live-action one they did that had, uh, Bill, oh, man, Paxton, I forget whether it was Bill Pullman or Bill Paxton, I can literally never remember, Bill, I want to say Bill Pullman, um, and Christina Ricci. Good movie. BT Dubs. Uh, but the point is, he, uh, when Casper turns human at the end, he turns into Devin Sawa. I'm starting to get tired of coin flip cards. I'm just gonna say that. Uh, but most, most notably of all of his credits, uh, Devin Sawa... In the, the music video for Stan by Eminem, he was Stan. Uh, and so today, now we have the term Stan. You know, I Stan this, and it kind of dovetails back to that song, ultimately. Um, and, you, you know, you can make an argument that it's like a, it's a combination of stalker and fan, and this, that, and but... Anyone who knows, knows that it's from the song Stan. Okay, cool. Okay, this guy's dead. Um, so, basically, he uh, he made a tweet jokingly stating, which I thought was funny, and the, the tweet itself was funny in the first place, uh, stating, you know, there are kids alive today who sing Stan, who weren't even born yet and have never seen the music video. And so, some other guy commented something along the... Ooh, forget you. Without getting seriously lucky in terms of coin flips, I'm only gonna get the one attack. And then this Scyther is gonna kill me. And that ain't great. Ooh. So I'm gonna. 
Hollow Ball, two bone and a Marowak. I'll play a Lightning Energy on Pikachu. I'll drop Eevee. I'll play Defender. And I'll play Gambler. Let me get an oak. Let me get an oak. Or another gambler. Nope. Okay. Uh, so, uh, so I thought that tweet originally was funny, and so this one guy basically tweeted... We get two. Come on! So the real problem here is now, like, my hope was if I got at least two, there was a relatively decent chance that I would have killed him next turn. And so, she would have been left with just the one Scyther. But now, it's a little bit more of a long shot. Uh, I, I'll keep that electric in my hand. Probably should have used Fetch, to be honest with you guys. I can't kill him. And I die. Pikachu's actually going to be in scary territory at that. I should have used Fetch. Try and hope for a Raichu. So anyways, uh, a guy basically was like, uh, look at this. Some white guy thinks that, uh, some white guy thinks that he has any place to talk about something the black guy, the black community created. Something to that effect. And it was just one of those moments where everyone's like, You understand you're literally talking about Stan. Like Stan himself. Actual Stan. Right? You, you get that, right? He did not get that. Moral of the story. I know, I can put out Pikachu and Spark. Pikachu's gonna get smacked hard in the face right away. But then he'll kill him. Then I'll be in rough shape. Or I can put out Eevee, attach a lightning energy, and tail wag, and try and hope that I draw... It's, it's too stupid a strategy. It would be basically hope that I draw another energy and a Raichu. But now instead, I can actually... I can attach lightning energy to Eevee and hopefully get Jolteon up and running before Pikachu dies. I can take out both these Clefairy dolls as well. I'll do that. So this turn, damage him, take out a Clefairy doll, and then next turn, damage him, take out a Clefairy doll. And that will basically just free me up to not have to worry about him coming at me with unnecessary stuff. Depending on how this works out, I may actually... I may be okay. I may level off a little bit here. So yeah, uh, the bottom line was just, it's funny, like, to to make a comment like that, like, oh, this guy thinks he knows something like that, and it's like... The moral of the story... Folks... Before you hit send tweet, just pause for a moment and say, is there a chance this tweet could go horribly wrong? And if there is, should I not press send? And if there's a chance the tweet can go horribly wrong, the answer is yes. Do not press send. Please don't put down any water energy. Oh, shoot. Okay, so depending on how this goes... So I need the fighting energies to hit Monchan. Which... You know, he's still good here. Uh, he'll kill Poliwag. And get rid of the Clefairy doll. And so she'll either put out a Scyther with one energy... And hope get two energy, or she'll put out a polywag. Oh, it's weak to grass. 
Yo, all these delaying cards, like Mysterious Fossil, Clefairy Doll, and whatnot, are starting to get mad and annoying right now. Granted, I'm about to kill this dude, but... Jolteon's coin flips, and that's the only thing that worries me. But Hitmonchan won't be able to do anything to Psyker, because it resists fighting. So I got to. I mean, it w he will if I get another energy, but it'll be 10 damage a turn. And that ain't great. So I gotta take the chance with the coin flips. Folks, what is my... What is my actual luck here on coin flips in these last couple matches? Please tell me. I gotta know. Leave a concise comment below. And then mail it to 155 Game Dad Road, Game Dad Ohio, 31155. Don't look into that, it's a real location. There's... And put, uh, attention, Game Dad, slash, Ernesto Rivero, slash, Dr. Nguyen Van Bach. If anyone gets that last reference, I will love you forever. Okay. Swords to Oh! Clutch top deck! So clutch! You know when people post things and they're like, I'm literally shaking! No, I'm literally shaking. I ain't asking for a lot here, fam. I'm literally just asking to not get screwed. Omanite is weak to grass, dang it. So neither one, but... Uh, but either way, yeah, I'm absolutely gonna gust out one of them, and in this case, I will gust out Omanite. Sure. Uh, I don't have any more energy, so the goal here is to get at least one hex. Okay, if I get one more energy, though, I can put that on Hitmonchan, retreat, and bring him out and special punch, and that's the end of that. More energy removal in this case, which is not an energy, for those who are unaware of playing the home game. You may say, why don't you retreat now and bring out Hitmon Chan? I don't have a good answer to that. I guess I'm just worried that... I gotta just go for the guaranteed thing. Jab, and then as long as she doesn't switch out Omanite, or Gust of Wind me out, or put an energy down and retreat Omanite. Nice. And that's why I energy removal the Stiker instead of just leaving it, because... Uh, and basically, if the smart play would have been put the energy of any kind of Omanite and retreat the Scyther who can immediately fight and probably would have beat me. But they ain't smart! And you know what? I'm gonna run with this deck going against Ronald. If I remember correct, he's got a fire deck, so... Mostly fire focused. But so we're gonna kind of just be butting heads with it. It's Ronald! That's how I feel every time Ronald talks. Let the third match begin! Deck's ready. I'll prepare my deck. My deck is ready. Invincible Ronald deck. This pretentious behind. 
He just is. You just want to hit him in the face. No basic Pokemon and Ronald's hands. I've often wondered, so, for those, uh, I've explained before, but I've started Twitch streaming. Uh, one of the first things I started streaming, uh, was, um, not one of the first, but I'm saying an early one, I should say, uh, was, uh, I can put out Eevee and pretty much guarantee I've got Jolteon turn two. I'll leave Cubone. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a look at his... Uh, what I go for for a Pokemon is gonna depend on what he's got. But of course he gets the first turn, because he always gets the first turn, always and forever. Ooh. That ain't great. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to play Cubone. I'm gonna Pokemon Trader and swap that Raichu for a Marowak. Fool you get correct! Don't you bug me with a Caterpie for a flying type, the wind's easy! Good luck with muck in his poison breath. For you get ground down with a marowak. Listen, I had the Pokemon to be a master CD, and it was a good CD, and just accept it. What kind of Pokemon are you? I'll probably splice in some of that music here so you understand why I'm saying it, and I'll just put in like where it's um. Thunderbolt's a great electric attack, for you get ground down by a Marowak! Or don't you get ground down, I forget whichever one it is. Thunderbolt's a great electric attack, till you get ground down by a Marowak! What kind of Pokemon are you? How do you do the things you do? Don't you- Can't attack. I think that would affect using something like Fetch. I think. I could be wrong. We'll find out. But if I can get heads... That'll stop him from card drawing until... Of course I can't get heads. Why would I get heads? Uh, if it succeeds at all, it'll stop him from card drawing until I can get my... So, of course, Marowak will be what I use to kill Kangaskhan, who will then immediately be able to fight me on its turns. On the plus side, I have a double colorless, so I can give that to Eevee, so I'm still... I'm in the game, at least. I don't want that Psychic to have energy, but I'm gonna wait it out. Just in case he does, like, a double colorless, I'd rather get rid of that. This is gonna be riveting. Now I'm basically just holding out for... Literally even just one fighting energy. Just one. That's it. That's all I want. The game actually threw me a bone, folks! Woo! Retreat, get rid of that lightning! Marowak! Kill! Not happy, but I'm good. What's really problematic is that he's just, just bumping cards right now. Uh, 
double color song. Eevee. Energy removal on that Oh, I want energy removal that Cypher. I'm way less concerned. Mm. The Cypher is going to be more problematic. Geodude is less of a worry. Made up for some bad luck here! Okay. So he's probably gonna put out Geodude. And I have a potion, so barring some terrible luck, I'll at least be able to... Oh. Oh, okay. So you don't even care. You're just gonna chill. Like, he knows if I don't get two heads, I can't hurt him. That ain't the best. So I'm gonna fighting energy on Eevee. Retreat cost is one. I should have switched. I should have put it on him. I should have put it on him. My thought was one energy closer, and then... Alright, I want to keep that potion, but I gotta go for it. I think it would have been better there would have been a Professor Oak. I got good dudes, I just don't have energy for them. So now it basically boils down to uh, Bone Meringue and Pray for Two Heads. Nope. If I get two heads, I can deal 30 damage. So. It's worth attacking. It's, it's not the most... Hitmonchan as a sacrificial land makes sense since he'll take three turns worth of hits. Because otherwise, I mean, yeah, Eevee can fight, but he'll take two hits and die. And he'll deal at best 60 damage in that time frame. Wait, I'll deal. So, putting out G putting out Hitmonchan buys me the most number of turns without putting me in serious jeopardy. That's fine. Lightning energy, and I can put that on the left of us. And at least we got that going. And then if I can get one more, he's at Thunder Punch point, so he's able to do something. Yeah, Hitmon Jan is just he's a sacrificial lamb, don't you don't you suck. It's all those cards he drew earlier, honestly. If he didn't start if I started with Cubone and I went whole hog in on the Cuboning, that would have shut him down sooner. Here is put out Eevee. I gotta go with Electabuzz and hope for some paralysis hits. Oh god, yes! Yes! Oh, thank you, Oak! I may not get anything useful, but at least there's hope here. Energy removal, switch. Lightning for Pikachu fighting like Eevee. Okay. So I'm gonna do fighting on Eevee. And I'm going to energy removal on the double colorless. And 
I'm going to... I don't have a keybone out. But okay. Let's get some paralysis going. I mean, it's... It would be more, like, to stop him from swords dancing and then potentially double colorless or whatever. You know, just... Are you kidding me? So yeah, now I'm sitting here just praying for some paralysis procs. And I got a chance! At the very least... Hit no chain. If I can... If I can get two paralysis procs on him and he doesn't like plus power or anything, then I may be okay. It'll still be tough, but I can follow up with Geodude using- I mean Geodude, with Hitmonchan using Special Punch. And even though that'll, you know, it, it'll, it'll give me a shot here. Come on, 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 come because then that'll put him up to 60 damage, and then Hitmonchan can come in and mop up the results. So just one more. And then I'll have a dude throwing around 40 punch hits. 40, uh, 40 damage hits. Yeah. I'm gonna have to chance it. Now granted, no matter what, I can put out Eevee. What scares me is... He has Geodude. Okay, yes! Okay. The problem is he has Geodude ready to go on the bench, and Geodude's attack is flip coins until you flip to it takes. He would only have to flip three heads, and my luck isn't the best. run into that Scyther again. My only hope is that he doesn't have the energy to to use it properly. Gotta, gotta run with Hitmonchan. He's my best shot by a mile. And I have Switch, so it's not like I'm completely dead in the water. This needs four. Jesus. Put it on him because I, I may have to do some switcheroo, switch attack, switch attack, re retreat attack situation. I'm not gone yet, but this ain't gonna be an easy fight to crawl out of at this point. It's because I have such a slim margin of error. Because if he gets one lucky kill shot from Stone Barrage mainly, or if he decides to. About the, I mean, obviously the best I could have hoped for was missing right away, but that's the, kind of the best I could have hoped for under my luck circumstances. Okay, so let me see what he's got. He did not put Scyther back out. This Geodude isn't ready to go. This Grimer can nasty do, which would suck. This Grimer can nasty do. This Geodude isn't ready to go. But I have a plus power, so basically... I can... Kind of just, I can plus power and kill the next one of whatever he pulls out. Okay. I would love a potion right now. So that I had a full, if he doesn't paralyze me and I can get like a full health chance shot at whatever he throws out next. That would be lovely. So yeah, my best shot is plus power. Just clear through this Grimer. I'll energy search up a, uh, an electric. To attach to Pikachu's. 
so that if I have to retreat, I have EV and Pikachu both as options, depending on what's going to be better. So, plus flower, plus, plus power, special punch, and then... So it's going to come down to this last Geodude. If this last Geodude gets really lucky on the Stone Barrage, I am... Oh, thank God, that's actually perfect. I mean, yeah, he can paralyze. I could technically get screwed, but it would require a lot more luck for that to, to be what happened. Like, he would need to throw four heads in a row to screw me. I really wish, like I said, that I had... Uh, oh, thank lord. I will not actually evolve maybe just yet. Now, the advantage that I have Switch. So yeah, this fight is basically done. So I Special Punch. Unless he retreats Grimer, I kill him next turn and I win. Because even if he paralyzes me, I Switch and then retreat it. Both of my bench dudes are weak to electric. I mean, are weak to fighting. Oh, come on. You know, both of them are weak to fighting, right? Down to one turn. It's just if I had a, a gust of wind. Kangaskhan could survive a hit. I could retreat to Kangaskhan. And then... Does he resist? He doesn't resist the light. The only hope I'd have is that I could retreat to Kangaskhan because he could take the one hit. And then pray for a double colorless, and then I could maybe stun needle him. It's better than a guaranteed loss. So let's go for it. If this is just me wasting time, I am so sorry, folks. Genuinely, I am. But I want to at least try, you know? Oh. And even then, it's going to come down to a coin flip, and you've seen my luck with those, eh? Unfortunately, Jolteon 60 HP means even if I find a defender, he'll still get me. So the only hope I have is let's go for that Professor Oak. And do I got a double colorless? Oh my god! Oh my good god! Double colorless! I'll play the defender anyways, just because I gotta. Gambler, see if there's anything else in my deck that I could find that'll help me. Oh my god. This is gonna come down to one coin flip. Nope. Nothing here that's gonna help me survive. Because he'd die right away, so...
it was a valiant effort, in my opinion. And yeah, if I'm correct, I don't get another chance to re-enter. I cannot re-enter for a while. Oh! Uh... To one flip. It was going so well. I'm sorry, folks. I really am. Well, I'm gonna leave this off here. We have officially taken out the Rock Fighting and Water Clubs and lost at the Challenge Hall, so that sucks. Which it really sucks because that level 60 Mewtwo is a good card. Wins on Lucy. Okay, you gotta roll with the punches. If that's your that's your gam dad advice for the day, sometimes things go wrong, and you just gotta kind of accept it and move on. So I can go to the lightning, psychic, science, grass, or fire clubs, and I think I will do. I'll take on the fire club. I'll I'll. I'll throw together some type of a water-based deck. Uh, water something, at least. So, but I'm gonna save, and, uh, I'm gonna finish off here, folks. Thank you so much for watching me fail triumphantly. Uh, leave a like if you liked it, leave a dislike if you didn't, and, uh, maybe some type of feedback on anything. Let me know what you thought of the series so far. Obviously, I haven't been the best so far. I do believe I still have a winning ratio overall. Uh, but let me know what you thought of this series so far, and also, if you'd ever be interested in seeing, because there was a sequel made to this game, if you'd ever be interested in seeing me play that, either here or on stream, just so I can get a bit more of the live action moments, and can maybe have a bit more of a say in what cards I use, because that one goes up to the Team Rocket expansion, which was really fun. So, uh, just let me know that, uh, like I said, leave me some type of feedback, subscribe if you want to see more, and otherwise, I will catch you later, Game Dad fam. All right.